Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I use E-Rank to do product research to decide what kind of new products I want to launch. How I use E-Rank to find what I want to list, what I want to make. This kind of helps me when I'm trying to come up with ideas of products. So first I went to the keyword tool. This is pretty much the only thing I use in E-Rank. E-Rank is my favorite. Um, tool, I just, it's what I started using, and so um, it's just kind of what's familiar to me. So I'm going to search. We do personalized everything. Um, so I'm just going to start with the personalized Christmas ornaments. So this is not for specific SEO. This is just for research. Okay, so this is really interesting. These are going to be... Ex um, they used to not do this, but these are phrase match. So it used to come up a different page. This is newer, but this is going to be like what it matches with the exact phrase that you put in. So personalized Christmas ornament, it's only going to put things in here that have those words. Um, and it can give you some other ideas, which I really like. Okay. So just looking at this, um, I would actually consider making this family of seven personalized Christmas ornament. Um, I mean, that's a decent amount of searches for this, like, low competition. So I would consider that one. Um, memorial ornaments. Because you have to think, uh, right now it is October. These are going to go up. Like, this is this is going to go up as we get into November and December. So, you know, ornaments people are starting to look for now, but they will continue looking for them. So... I know from experience, memorial ornaments do well, so I'd also consider this term. So, I, I spend a little time here, but then I mostly go, I mean, personalized Christmas ornament. Even though it has high competition, something to remember is that high competition also means that people, I mean, people want to buy it. People are making it because people are buying it. So, you just have to figure out how can you do it better and be seen. So then I spend a lot of time here in my top tags. And I, I filter by searches. And then I kind of try to go down. I always look at anything that has high search, lower competition. So I would definitely put engage an ornament. <laughs> this doesn't mean I don't make a new home ornament or other things. I just am really looking. Like obviously here's another engaged ornament. So those are something that I really want to think about because like a lot of people are already searching for this. Um, you know, this is average monthly searches. So um, people are searching engagement ornament, but not as many people have offered. Volleyball ornament. I would put that on my list. Nurse ornament. I would put that on my list. I'm just doing ornaments because if you're making anything right now, you should definitely consider ornaments. Okay, gingerbread ornament, dinosaur ornament, those would be on my list. Why? Because they are, people are searching for them, but there's least little amount of competition. Grandma ornament, gravel ornament. I'm not gonna go through all these, but you kind of get my gist. I'm looking for searches, but lower volume. Even, I was as to go as far as to say even some stuff down here because I've seen some um, just recently in my ornament research I've seen some ornaments that are starting out with terms like uh, in the like two like right in this range maybe in the orange range it's like police ornament toddler ornament um, I've seen some that the main terms are in this range and they're, I mean, they're selling like 20 a day right now in October. So I wouldn't discount those. If they, you know, like this mom Christmas gifts with this high, I wouldn't do that. But if we have police ornament with those, yeah, I would consider all of those. So this is how I get a, just a list to start thinking, okay, what do I want to make? And if you want to, sometimes I also like to... Note the search volume out beside them. So like the toddler here is going to be 293 and you can do this more efficiently in a spreadsheet. But then if we go up here and find um, 
Okay, like the dinosaur ornament was 639. Let's go up a little bit more. Okay, volleyball ornament was 800. So personally, I would start with some of these, like the volleyball ornament. The volleyball ornament is in a really great spot. So that's one I would do. And the engage, I really like the engage ornament. So then when I kind of find some I want to do, I would go here and go to engaged ornament. Okay, and then here you're going to find, okay, engaged ornament, first Christmas engaged ornament, engaged Christmas ornament. I would not use 2022 because it's 2023. All of these are really good. And then, you know, I'd go back to here, also search by searches. Couple ornament, married ornament, Mr. and Mrs. ornament, all those things. So this is just how I get an idea of what is selling. So engage ornament is one I would do. Dinosaur ornament is one I would do if I was looking to do ornaments right now. I have a full SEO video and I will make some more as well using E-Rank. But this is what I do to get ideas, and then I just narrow down my ideas based on um, the time it takes us to produce an item, the cost it takes us, the designs I can come up with, and go from there. I hope that was a good quick tutorial for you.